Hello dear students, uh, so the most awaited video is here, UPSC CSAT 2021 detailed explanation and friends if I talk about this paper then I would say this paper was really tough, right? This paper was actually really tough and uh, I can say that uh, now if you have not prepared well for this paper then it is really difficult to qualify this paper right so please everyone now try to devote some time for csat also because now upsc itself want you to prepare for csat right so please give some time to csat also don't take it lightly now right because now you cannot take it for granted right so please give some time to csat and everyone i'm showing you the questions which type of questions came and i'm solving the questions with all explanations so please you may check your answers along with uh, along with your attempts like how many questions have you solved correctly and here uh, it is my uh, it is my disclaimer that uh, maybe all the questions of mine are not correct but i have tried my level best to solve the questions in very efficient manner right so let's start first question says in a group of 120 persons 80 are Indians and rest are foreigners. Okay, so in a group of 120 persons, 80 are Indians and rest are farmers. Sorry, uh, foreigners. So 80 are Indians and rest are foreigners. Further, 70 persons in the group can speak English. The number of Indians who can speak English is. See everyone, 70 persons can speak English, right? It means let's say all the 40 foreigners can speak english then 30 indians can speak english right and if 39 foreigners can speak english then 31 indian can speak english right i'm saying if all 40 can speak english all 40 foreigners can speak english then 30 indians can speak english if 39 foreigners can speak english then 31 indian can speak english if let's say 35 foreigners can speak English, then 35 Indians can speak English. It means what? 30 plus Indians can speak English. You can say 30 or more Indians or you can say at least 30 Indians can speak English. Right? At least 30 Indians can speak English or you can say 30 or more Indians can speak English. Right? So this is the correct answer. So, D option is the right choice, 30 or more Indian can speak English. The question is the number of Indians who can speak English, right? So, the correct answer is 30 or more. Okay, everyone, fine. So, now let's move to the other question. Next question says, consider all three digit number, all three digit numbers without repetition of digits obtained using three non-zero digits which are multiples of three okay let s be their sum which of the following is r correct see everyone this question is very tough right this is actually a very tough question right and in the examination hall it is my personal suggestion please don't try to solve these type of questions if you haven't seen these questions before Right, please don't try to solve these type of questions. And uh, here I'll solve these questions. I mean, I'll solve this question for you, but this question is really tough. Fine. So the question is saying, consider all three digit numbers without repetition of digits obtained using three non-zero digits, which are multiples of three. Right, let S be their sum. So see everyone, the three digit number, let's say X, Y, Z. Fine, this is a three digit number where x is not equal to y is not equal to z x is not equal to y is not equal to z is not equal to zero right all of them are distinct and they are non-zero also right question is saying using three non-zero digits right so this is the property fine now question is saying uh, and one more thing and x plus y plus z is a multiple of 3. Why? Because this number 
is a multiple of 3 question is saying which are the multiple of 3 so it means this x y z is the multiple of 3 and if x y z is a multiple of 3 then obviously sum of digits is the multiple of 3 right it means this x y z has these properties x y z are distinct they are not equal to each other and they are not equal to 0 also and x plus y plus z is equal to the multiple of 3 fine after that the question is saying which of the following is are correct s is always divisible by 74 s is always divisible by 9 s is what s is the sum of all those numbers the question is saying see the question is saying consider all three digit numbers without repetition of digits obtained using three non zero digits which are the multiples of three and let s is the their sum so we need to find the sum of all such numbers which are the multiple of 3 which are a 3 digit number the multiple of 3 and using non zero digits right and using distinct non zero digits fine i repeat again xyz is what xyz is a 3 digit number right we need to find the sum of all such 3 digit numbers which are using three distinct non zero digits and are the multiple of 3 correct so it means what see everyone if you talk about the different combinations of x y z so let's say this is one number x y z another number will be x z y after that one number will be y z x and then y x z and then z x y and then z y x right so this is i mean these are the possible form of x y z fine Suppose that one number is 1, 2, 3. 123 is a number which is the multiple of 3, right? Which is the multiple of 3. And here it is using all three distinct digits and they are non zero. Fine. So if you take all the possible numbers using 1, 2, 3 as digits, so the all possible numbers will be 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, right? It is like this. So that's why I have written this. Fine. This is structure now everybody this is what just talk about the just talk about the value i mean the place value right what is the place value i mean what is the general form of a three digit number 100x plus 10y plus z right again this is 100x plus 10z plus y again this is 100y plus 10z plus x this will be what 100y plus 10x plus z this is what 100z plus 10x plus y and this is what 100z plus 10y plus x fine now if you add all of them the question is saying just add all of them and their sum is s fine so just add all of them so 100x and 100x it is 200x and then x then x right and then 10x 10x so 200x then 10 210 220 and then then 222 fine so this is 222 so in bracket x and similarly 222 y because this is 100 100 200 and then 10 210 and then 220 and then 221 and then 222 so 222 y and then 222z also in the similar manner right so this is 222x plus y plus z the summation will be 222x plus y plus z right so when you add all of these six numbers so the sum you will get as 100 sorry 222 into x plus y plus z fine so now this 222 is what 222x plus y plus z this x plus y plus z is what this is multiple of 3 right this is multiple of 3 right and this is 222 is what 74 into 3 right this is 74 into 3 and this is a multiple of 3 so this means what this is 74 into 9 kind of number right okay everyone this is 74 into 9 type of number fine so question is saying s is always divisible by 74 yeah it is correct and question is saying s is always divisible by 9 it is also correct select the correct answer using the quotes below 
both are the right statement both 1 and 2 are the correct statement right everyone fine both are the correct statement main hindi mein bhi is question ko explain kar deta hu ek bar question is saying एक ऐसा थ्री डिजिट का नंबर लिया जाए जिसमें सारे के सारे डिजिट्स अलग अलग यूज किए जाएं और वो नॉन जीरो हों, राइट और उन सारे ही थ्री डिजिट के नंबर्स को ऐड कर दिया जाए तो उनका जो सम होगा उसको एस कहा जा रहा है ठीक है तो कहा गया है कि एस सेवेंटी फोर से डिविजिबल होना चाहिए फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट एस सेवेंटी से डिविजिबल है सेकेंड स्टेटमेंट एस से डिविजिबल है राइट तो आप थ्री डिजिट का एक नंबर का जनरल फॉर्म ले लीजिए ठीक है उससे जितने पॉसिबल नंबर्स बन सकते हैं आप बना लीजिए और उनको जोड़ लीजिए ठीक है अब चूंकि ऑलवेज लिखा हुआ है इसलिए मैंने आपके लिए सिर्फ एक सेट लिया एक्स वाई जेड और उसको उठा के जोड़ दिया क्योंकि ऑलवेज है तो वो हमेशा फॉलो करेगा ठीक है सो दैट्स वाई और यहां पे भी ऑलवेज लिखा हुआ है तो ऑब्वियसली वो हमेशा फॉलो करेगा ठीक तो देखिए ये सोल्यूशन आपको समझ में आ गया होगा राइट एंड फ्रेंड्स पता है ये जो क्वेश्चन है ना ये क्वेश्चन बहुत ही टफ है रियली बहुत अच्छा क्वेश्चन है मतलब कहा जाएगा इसको और अगर आपने नंबर सिस्टम को बहुत डिटेल में पढ़ रखा है तभी आप इसको कर पाएंगे नहीं तो नहीं कर पाएंगे ठीक है तो प्लीज इस टाइप के क्वेश्चंस अगर आप बहुत कंफर्टेबल हैं इस टॉपिक में तभी करिए इस टाइप के क्वेश्चंस अगर पहले देखे हुए हैं तो नहीं देखे हुए हैं तो प्लीज छोड़ दीजिए एग्जामिनेशन में राइट सो एवरी होप यू अंडरस्टूड दिस क्वेश्चन बट अगेन आई एम सिंग दिस क्वेश्चन वॉज रियली टफ एक्चुअली इट इज वेरी टफ क्वेश्चन फाइन सो नॉ लेट्स मूव टू दी अदर क्वेश्चन नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज सेंग There are two classes A and B having 25 and 30 students respectively. Class A, in class A, highest score is 21 and lowest score is 17. In class B, the highest score is 30 and the lowest score is 22. Four students are shift shifted from A to B. Okay, see everyone. Class B has 22 to 30, right? 20, 30 are the highest and 22 are the lowest and in class A class A 17 are the lowest and 21 are the highest fine so four students are shifted from class A to class B right four students are shifted from class A to class B see everyone let's say the topper of i mean even the topper of class A suppose that are shifting like top four candidates of class A are shifting to class B but they are the bottom student in class b why because in class b the least marks the lowest marks are 22 and here the highest marks are 21 fine so even the top four candidates are shifting to class b they will be the lowest candidate in class b fine right so it means what it means if four students from class a to class b like four students from class a will go to class b then the average of class b will decrease right so consider the following statement the average score of class b will definitely decrease yes it is the correct answer right so question is saying which of the above statement is are correct so one only and for second statement the average score of class a will definitely increase no we can't say this because we don't know which four students are being shifted from class a to class b fine so let's say if top four students are going from class a to class b then the average of class a will decrease if bottom four students are going from class a to class b then average of class a will increase so we cannot say anything definitely over here right so that's why only first statement is correct find the average of the average score of class b will definitely decrease a option is the correct choice right everyone fine okay now let's move to the other question next question is saying consider two statements and a question statement number 1 okay like this question belongs to data sufficiency right so first read the question what is seema's rank from the top if uh, from the top in the class of 40 students okay priya is first statement alone priya is four ranks below seema and 31st from the bottom see everyone question is saying what is seema's rank from the top in the class of 40 students i am taking the first statement only statement number 1 in the class 40 students are there right priya is four ranks below seema and 31st from the bottom priya is 31st from the bottom it means after priya 
30 more students are there and then Priya and then 9. Right? They are saying Priya is 4 ranks below Seema. Fine. So from the top, Priya is 10th and it means 6th is the rank of Seema. Right? Fine. So from first statement alone, we can find the answer. Now let's talk about second statement alone. Fine. From second statement, I mean from first statement alone, we can find the answer. Now from second statement alone. Let's talk about second statement alone. Ena is two ranks above Sima and 37th from the bottom. Ena. Ena is 37th from the bottom. So it means 36 students are below Ena and Ena is 37th. Right? Total there are 40 students. Right? After that, Ena is two ranks above Sima. Right? So 36 and 37th and then 3. 3 students. Right? So it means Ena is 4th from the top. So Ena is 2 ranks above Sima. So Sima is 6th from the top. Right? Sima is 6th from the top. So from second statement alone we can find the answer. Right? So here either statement number 1 alone or statement number 2 alone to find the answer. Either statement 1 alone or statement number 2 alone is sufficient to answer the question. Right? Answer C is the correct choice. Okay, everyone, fine. All right. Now let's move to the other question. After that, next question saying each of a. Uh, okay, again, this question is from DS again. So just wait, just read the question. Question is who is the heaviest among A, B, C, D, E? Who is the heaviest? Is means one person will be the heaviest among A, B, C, D, E. Right. From statement number one alone, I'm talking about statement number one says each of A and D is heavier than each of B, E, F, but none of them is the heaviest. All right. See everyone here. The question is not saying A, B, C, D, E have distinct, have distinct weight. Right. This is not saying like the question is not saying this, right? So from first statement, we can say A and D may be equal, right? And they are equal to B, E, F. I mean, sorry, A and D are equal and they are heavier than B, E, F, right? And now C is left. So maybe C is also equal to A, D and C like A, D, C are weight wise. They are all equal and weight wise let's say BEF are equal and CAD are heavier than BEF right so we cannot say who is the heaviest question is saying who is the heaviest right this may be this case may be right this is the maybe case fine so from a statement number one alone we cannot say anything about the answer a statement number two A is heavier than D but lighter than C after that second statement so from second statement alone we cannot say anything second statement alone a is heavier than d so this is d a is heavier than d but lighter than c so from second statement alone this is the order but here bef is not given right so from second statement alone we cannot say anything who is the heaviest but if we combine these two statements fine if we combine these two statements then we can say C is the heaviest after that A, after that D and after that B, E, F, right? Okay, everyone. So if we combine these two statements together, then we can say C is the heaviest. So the answer is both statements are required to answer the question. Option C, both statements are required to answer the question, right? Everyone answer C is the correct choice. I mean, C is the correct option fine okay now let's move to the other question next question is saying in the english alphabet the four letter the first four letters are written in opposite order the next four letters are written in opposite order and so on and at the end y and z are interchanged which will 
be the fourth letter to the right of the thirteenth letter. See everyone, which will be the fourth letter to the right of thirteenth. So obviously fourth, one, two, three, fourth. So this is fourteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth, and seventeenth, right? So we need to find the seventeenth letter, right? Everyone, we need to find the seventeenth letter, and obviously in every slot of four. The letters are being written in opposite order. They are saying, "No, first four letters are written in opposite order, and the next four letters are written in opposite order." It means in every slot of four letters, they are written in opposite order. It is like this. Fine. So first four, one, two, three, four, right? Then five, six, seven, eight. Then nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Right and then seventeen. So they are written in opposite order. Right. So this is the question. So we need to find the seventeenth letter. Right, everyone. Seventeenth letter. So it means we know the coding. The coding is E J O T. Right. E J O T. This is what. This is fifth alphabet. This is tenth alphabet. This is fifteenth alphabet. This is twentieth alphabet, and this is twenty-fifth alphabet. Right. So this is fifteenth alphabet. O is fifteenth. Right. So O P. P will be. P will be what? P will be sixteenth alphabet, right? O P. Then Q R S T, right? Seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, and this is twentieth. Right, everyone. So. In seventeenth, we will be having this four numbers, four alphabets Q, R, S, T, but in reverse order. So T, S, R, Q, right? So seventeenth will be T, right? Okay. Fine, everyone. So the answer is T. Fine, because every four four, I mean every slot of four alphabets are written in opposite order. So here. This will be the fifth slot, seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, and twentieth, right? So this is like this is the first slot, this is the second slot, this is the third slot, this is the fourth slot, and this is the fifth slot, right? So this is the fifth slot of four alphabets, but in reverse order, right? So ideally it has to be Q R S T, but this will be, according to the question, this will be T S R Q, right? So the correct answer will be T. All right, everyone, fine. So now let's move to the other question. Next question is saying seven books P Q R S T U V are placed side by side. Okay, so P Q R S T U V are placed side by side. R Q T have blue covers. R Q T. So R Q T have blue covers. All right. And rest have red. Okay, so rest have red. Okay, fine. So this is the condition, right? Okay, fine. After that, S and U are new. S and U are new. Rest all are old. So this is old. All right, fine. After that, P R S R law reports. P R S. So P R S R law reports, and rest are gadgeters. Okay, fine. Rest are gadgeters. All right. So they are gadgeters. Okay, fine. So books of old gadgeters with blue covers. So G B O. Right. Old G. B right O G B we need to find so O G B here and O G B here right it is right okay so books old and gadgets right B for blue sorry blue old and gadgets blue old gadgets fine so the answer is Q and T okay everyone. So here C is the correct choice. Okay, C is the correct choice, right? Okay, fine. Now let's move to the other one. 
Next question is saying replace the incorrect term by correct term in the given sequence where odd terms and even terms follow the same pattern. All right. So odd terms just write the odd terms separately and even terms separately. So 3, 7, 13, 21, oh sorry, 21, 31, 43, right? So they are odd terms. So this is plus 4, plus 6, then plus 8, and then plus 10, and then plus 12. So odd terms are following plus 4, plus 6, plus 8, plus 10, plus 12. And they are saying the following the same pattern, right? So it means in even terms also we will be getting plus 4, plus 6, plus 8, plus 10, plus 12, right? So this is 2, 4, 10, even terms I'm, I'm writing now, 18, and then 28, and then 40. So this is plus 12, this is plus 10, this is plus 8, this is plus 6. It has to be plus 4, right? 4, 4. So it has to be 4. So here, 2 will be replaced with 0, right? So the correct answer is 0, right? So in place of 2, 0 has to be there actually, right? Then only they will follow the same pattern, okay? In place of 2, 0 has to be there. Okay, everyone, fine. Right? Clear? All right. Now let's move to the other one. Next question is saying, follow following is a matrix of certain entries the entries follow a certain trend row wise choose the missing entry accordingly okay this is 7 b 7 b 3 c 10 a this is 10 a this is 9 b this is 13 c this is 3 c this is 6 a okay so this is actually table. So friends here, 3 plus 7 is 10, right? So middle term is actually the sum of these two numbers. 3 plus 7 is 10. Here 3 plus 6 is 9, right? So 10 plus 3 will be 13, right? This is 13, fine. So 10 plus 3 will be 13. And this is A, B, C, right? C, A, B, C. In every row, A, B, C. So this is A, B, C. So obviously A, C. So B is missing. So A, B, C. Fine. So 3B is the missing number. Right, everyone? So this is 3B is the correct choice. Okay. You can say in every column we, you will get A, B, C or in every row also you will get A, B, C. Fine. Okay. Now let's move to the other one. Next question is saying you are given two identical sequences in two rows. Okay. Sequence 1, sequence 2. What is the entry in the place of C for the sequence 2? See everyone, the question is saying two identical sequence. It means they are following the same pattern, right? So here, 8 into 0 0.5, I mean 8 into half, 8 into 0 0.5 is 4, 4 into 1.5 is 6, 6 into 2.5 is 15, 15 into 3.5 is 56, uh, 52.5, and this into 4.5 is 236.25, right? So 5 into 0.5 and then 5, uh, 0.5 into 1 point, I mean this, uh, 5 into 0.5 is what, 2.5? 2.5 into 1.5, this will be 3.75, right? And then 3.75 into 2.5, so this will be 9.375. Right, everyone, this is 9.375. This will be the correct choice. All right, everyone, fine. So this is C option. Okay, fine. Now let's move to the other question. Okay, next question is saying a person X from a place A. A person X from a place A and another person Y from a place B set out at the same time walk towards each other. The places are separated by a distance of 15 km. X walks with a uniform speed of 1.5 km per hour and Y walks with a uniform speed of 1 km in first hour and with a uniform speed of 1.25 km in the second hour 
and with the uniform speed of 1.5 km per hour in third hour and so on okay fine so every hour uh, y is increasing his speed by 0.25 km per hour right okay fine so the thing is here here actually x is moving with 1.5 km per hour but y is moving first first hour he is moving at 1 km per hour second hour he is moving at 1.25 km per hour and third hour he is moving at 1.5 km per hour fourth hour he is moving at 1.75 km per hour third hour he is moving at i mean fifth hour he is moving at 2 km per hour right but x is always moving at 1.5 km per hour right and so on okay everyone so friends you know this is let's say 15 km fine this is 15 km okay so they are place a and place b so they are you know they are approaching towards each other so so in first hour this is 1.5 and this is 1 so first hour they will be approaching towards each other at the rate of 2.5 km per hour then in second hour they will be coming towards each other at the rate of 2.75 km per hour in third hour they will be coming each other at the rate of 3 km per hour i mean they will be reducing the speed they will be reducing the distance of 3 km fine and then 1.75 it is 3.25 and then 1.5 plus 2 this will be 3.5 just add all of them once so 2 2 4 4 3 7 7 3 10 10 3 13 0 0.5 0 0.5 14 14 7, 0 0.75 0 0.25 is 1 so again 15 right so 15 kilometer is complete right in 5 hours in five hours they will be meeting they will be meeting right okay so in five hours x will be covering what 5 into 1.5 so this will be 7.5 so in five hours x will be covering 7.5 okay so obviously if x will be covering 7.5 then obviously the rest speed there the rest distance y will be covering fine so meeting will be taking place exactly midway between a and b right and in five hours so they take five hours to meet yeah it is very correct they meet midway between it is also correct right so both the options are i mean both these statements are correct so c option is the right choice the meeting will be taking place in five hours and they will be meeting exactly midway between a and b all right everyone fine now let's move to the other one next question says a student appeared in six papers the maximum marks are the same for each paper his marks in these papers are in the proportion of 5 is to 6 is to 7 is to 8 is to 9 is to 10 overall he scored 60 percent in how many numbers of papers did he score less than 60 percent of the maximum marks see everyone here let's say in first paper it is 5 given no? let's say it, he is scoring 50 60 70 80 90 and 100 right everybody let's say he is scoring marks in this order in first paper he is scoring 50 in second paper he is scoring 60 in third paper he is scoring 70 in fourth paper he is scoring 80 in fifth paper he is scoring 90 and in and in sixth paper he is scoring 100 i repeat this is first paper this is second paper this is third paper this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth paper right okay so just add all of them right just add all of them please so what is this sum what is this sum the sum is 450 right the sum is 450 marks so he is scoring 450 marks in those six papers right and the question is saying he is scoring 60 percent overall he is scoring 60 percent so 60 percent marks is equal to 450 
right so 100 percent marks is equal to what so 450 divided by 60 into 100 right so 100 percent marks will be 750 right 100 percent marks will be 750 okay everyone fine now 750 is the 100 percent marks of six papers right 750 is the 100 percent marks of six papers maximum marks of six papers maximum marks of six papers is equal to what is equal to 750 so maximum marks of one paper is equal to 750 divided by 6 which is 125 right so maximum marks of one paper is 125 right so 60% of 125 is what 60% of 125 is 75 right everyone because the question is asking in how many papers did he score less than 60% of the maximum marks so 60% of the maximum marks is 75 so in how many pa papers did he score less than 75 so first paper second paper third paper so in these three papers he is scoring less than 75 marks right so less than 60 percent so in three papers he is scoring less than 60 percent marks right everyone the answer is three papers okay the correct answer is three papers b option is the correct choice all right everyone fine now let's move to the other one next question is a statement followed by conclusion 1 and conclusion 2 is given below. You have to take the statement to be true even if it seems to be variance from the commonly known facts. Okay, fine. So this question belongs to Silox. All right. Okay. So the question says, some cats are Almiras. Okay. Cats are Almiras. All right. Some Almiras are chairs. Okay. Some Almiras are chairs all chairs are tables all chairs are tables so all chairs are tables all right so first is certainly some almiras are tables certainly some almiras are table yeah it is correct okay some cats may not be chair some cats may not be chair yeah this is also correct because the question is saying may not be the chair right so obviously we can draw like this where cat may be there in some chairs fine so both the statements are correct the question is saying may not be right here the question is saying certainly so this is this has to be true but this can be true right okay so this is obviously correct and this can be correct by making the venn diagram in this order fine so both the statements are correct right everyone okay now let's move to the other question next question is saying a boy plays with a ball and he drops it from the height of 1.5 meter okay every time the ball hits the ground it bounces back to attain a height of 4 by 5th of its previous height the ball does not bounce further if the previous height is less than 50 centimeter okay what is the number of times the ball hits the ground before the ball stops bouncing all right see everyone 1.5 meter and they are saying 50 centimeter this is meter and this is centimeter so try to convert this meter into centimeter so 1.5 meter is equal to 150 centimeter right so so the ball a, a boy plays with a ball and he drops it from the height of 180 sorry 150 centimeter right see when he drops the ball from the height of 150 centimeter so obviously it will hit the ground and it will come to the height of 4 fifth of 150 so 4 fifth of 150 is what 4 fifth of 150 is 120 centimeter right after that 4 fifth of 120 it is 96 centimeter right then 4 fifth of 120 this is 76 
almost 76.8 in fact it is correct but i am writing it 76 and then 4 fifth of 76.8 uh, is approx 62 centimeter or you can say 61.44 is to be very precise right and then 4 fifth of 61.44 is approx 49 right approx 49 it is less than 50 fine so after once the ball attains this height after that it is not bouncing again it won't be bouncing again fine so how many times it touches the ground the question is saying what is the number of times the ball hits the ground fine so first hit is when the ball was dropped from 150 this is the first hit this is the second hit this is third hit this is fourth this is fifth and this is sixth and once the ball is coming to this height after that the ball is not going to bounce back again right They're not going to bounce again fine so obviously uh, uh, just count it again the ball is like uh, the ball is dropped from 150 centimeters so it touches the ground coming to the height of 120 centimeter again fell down and coming to the height of 96 again going to the ground coming to the height of 76 again going to the ground coming to the height of uh, 61 and again going to the ground coming to the height of 49 right so ball hits the ground six times one two three four five and six right so the correct answer is six all right everyone fine now let's move to the other question next question is saying images of consonants of the english alphabet capitals are observed in a mirror what is the number of images of these which do not look like their original shapes okay see everyone i'm writing all the alphabets whose mirror images are exactly the same so a h i m o t u v w x y right so this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 and 11 so these are 11 alphabets whose mirror image are exactly same fine but the question is saying the consonants right so just remove the vowels a i o u so these are the vowels so just remove these vowels so now they are actually seven consonants are left fine so seven consonants have the same images same mirror image right seven consonants have the same mirror images question is saying what is the number of images of these which do not like okay fine do not look like fine so total how many consonants are there total consonants total consonants are 21 right and seven have the same mirror image they are asking which don't have the same mirror image right so total minus 7 this is 14 14 don't have the same mirror image right so the correct answer is 14 okay everyone the correct answer is 14 right now let's move to the other one next question is saying a bank a bank employee a bank employee drives 10 km towards south from her house okay so just draw the direction so this is north this is south this is east and this is west 10 km from uh, 10 km towards south okay so 10 km towards south so let's say this is the starting point so 10 km towards south okay and then turns left and drives 20 kilometers okay turns left and right 20 kilometers all right she again turns left and drives 40 kilometers okay so so 40 kilometers means this is 10 kilometer 
and then 30 more right all right then she turns to her right and drives another 5 kilometer okay 5 kilometer okay she again turns to her right and drives another 30 kilometers to reach her bank okay so 30 kilometers like this so this is let, let's say this is also 30 right so this is bank okay fine now the question is where she works fine what is the shortest distance between her bank and her house see everyone this is 20 and this is 5 right so total 25 she is like working 25 kilometers away from her house fine so the correct answer is b the shortest distance from her house to bank is 25 kilometers okay everyone fine all right now let's move to the other one after that question is saying integers are listed from 700 to 1000 in how many integers is the sum of the digits is 10 right okay so 700 to 1000 fine so 7 7 plus 3 actually 10 fine so 730 703 right 721 712 fine 7 plus 3 now complete fine after that just talk about 800 to 900 so 8 plus 2 so 811 802 820 right and then 9 so 910 and 901 fine okay so here the sum of the digits is what 10 so th these are 4 these are 3 and these are 2 so 4 3 and 2 just add them to so 4 plus 3 7 7 plus 2 9 right the correct answer is 9 okay everyone fine now let's move to the other one Next question is saying, a woman runs 12 km towards north. Okay, a woman run runs 12 km towards north. Okay, fine. So, north, south, east and west. A woman run 12 km towards north. Okay, so let's say this is the starting point and 12 km towards north. So this is 12 kilometers towards north. Okay, fine. Then 6 kilometer towards her south. Okay, 6 kilometers south means she is coming back. 6 kilometers. Fine. So 6 kilometer towards her south. So this is 6 and this is also 6. Fine. And then 8 kilometer towards her east. 8 kilometers towards her east. Okay, 8 kilometers towards her east. Fine. In which direction is she from her starting point okay starting point is this fine and she is here now so this is actually fine so this triangle is what this triangle is a right angled triangle with the side 6 8 and then obviously by Pythagoras theorem we can find this as 10 okay so this angle will be what everyone this angle will be less than 45 degree sorry this angle will be more than 45 degree and this angle will be less than 45 degree right this angle will be less than 45 degree right so this angle will be less than 45 degree right okay why I am saying this angle is less than 45 degree because this is 6 and this is 8 fine everyone that's why this angle is less than 45 degree if this is 6 and this is also 6 then only this angle will be 45 degree right this angle is 45 and this is also 45 if both these sides are equal then both these angle will be equal but if this is 6 if this is 6 and this is 8 then obviously this angle will be less than 45 degree and this angle will be more than 45 degree right okay fine now in which direction is she from the starting point so she is at an angle of less than 45 degree that is for sure and the options are an angle less than 45 degree south of east this is 
this is east and this is what this is upward so north of east and less than 45 degree an angle less than 45 degree north of east b option right because this is upward this is east and this is upward from east this this is actually upward from east right okay so this is north of east and less than 45 degree right everyone see this question is simple but the options are actually tricky in the examination hall these options may bother you actually right so please take care of this type of questions right now let's move to the other question next question is saying if 3 raised to the power 2019 is divided by 10 then what is the remainder see everyone if a number is divided by 10 then what is the remainder remainder will be the unit digit if a number is divided by 10 then unit digit is the remainder right if a number is divided by 10 then unit digit is remainder okay everyone right so here it means this question is asking actually we need to find what is the remainder sorry what is the unit digit of what is the unit digit of 3 raised to the power 2019 actually this question is equivalent to this question the given question is equivalent to this question what is the unit digit of 3 raised to the power 2019 right so cyclicity of 3 is what cyclicity of 3 is 4 cyclicity of 3 is equal to 4 all right so 2019 will be divided by 4 and we will use the remainder what is the remainder remainder is 3 right so if remainder is 3 then unit digit will be same as 3 raised to the power 3 unit digit will be same as 3 raised to the power 3 that is 3 raised to the power 3 is 27 so digit is 7 unit digit is 7 right so the answer is unit digit is 7 unit digit of 3 raised to the power 2019 is 7 all right everyone the correct answer is c c is the right choice the correct answer is 7 all right everyone okay all right now let's move to the other question next question is saying the number is divi divisible by 7 what is the value of the digit p see everyone this question is actually again i would say the tough question in fact a lengthy question it's not a tough question but a lengthy question right here you have to put all the options and you have to just check the value which number is divisible by seven right so this is actually this is true for six right when you put p as six and you just divide the entire number by seven then this will be a completely divisible by number right everyone so here just check the options put the options and divide by 7 if you have time if you don't have time you may leave this question right so just put all the options and divide by 7 all right everyone correct answer is b choice b option is the right choice fine okay now let's move to the other question next question is saying from january 1 2021 the price of petrol in rupees per liter on mth day of the year is 80 plus 0.1 m where m equal to 1 2 3 4 up to 100 and thereafter remains constant okay fine so after 100 days the price of petrol remains constant this is a very important information after 100 days the price of petrol remains constant fine on the other hand the price of diesel in rupees per liter on nth day of 2021 is 69 plus 0.15 n for okay on which date in the year 2021 are the prices of these two fuels equal okay everyone the question is saying on which day of the year the price of these two fuels are equal right okay so options are 21st may see everyone all the options are in may fine so do one thing just find till april how many days are there fine so january february 
मार्च एंड अप्रैल सो दीज आर थर्टी वन डेज दीज आर ट्वेंटी एट डेज दीज आर अगेन थर्टी वन डेज एंड दीज आर थर्टी डेज फाइन सो दे आर वॉट दे आर वन ट्वेंटी डेज फाइन एंड दे आर सिंग ट्वेंटी एथ मे सॉरी दे आर नॉट सिंग ट्वेंटी एथ मे आई एम टेकिंग द फर्स्ट ऑप्शन एज ट्वेंटी एथ मे बिकॉज एडिंग ट्वेंटी टू आई मीन एडिंग ट्वेंटी टू वन ट्वेंटी इज ईजी आई मीन एडिशन इज ऑलवेज इजी बट द कैलकुलेशन इज लाइक हेयर पॉइंट वन फाइव एंड हेयर पॉइंट वन फाइन सो इफ यू हैव जीरो इन द यूनिट जीरो एज द यूनिट डिजिट देन दिस कैलकुलेशन विल बी इजियर सो आई एम जस्ट टेकिंग फर्स्ट ऑप्शन एज ट्वेंटी एथ मे फाइन सो ट्वेंटी एथ मे मीन्स ट्वेंटी डेज इन मे फाइन सो सो ट्वेंटी एथ मे मीन्स वन फोर्टी डेज एक्चुअली राइट बिकॉज दिस इज ट्वेंटी प्लस वन ट्वेंटी सो दिस इज वन फोर्टी डेज फाइन सो प्राइस ऑफ पेट्रोल सो प्राइस ऑफ पेट्रोल इज हंड्रेड सॉरी एट्टी प्लस पॉइंट वन इंटू हंड्रेड सो दिस इज नाइंटी रुपीज राइट बिकॉज फॉर प्राइस ऑफ पेट्रोल एम कांट गो बियॉन्ड हंड्रेड हाँ एंड इफ यू टॉक अबाउट प्राइस ऑफ डीजल right if i talk about price of diesel then price of diesel is equal to 69 plus 0.15 into 140 so this is 69 plus 0.15 into 140 so this is 210 by 0 210 by 10 this is 21 so 21 is 90 okay good so this option uh, got match fine so on 20th may the price of both the fuel is 90 rupees per liter fine so they are same on 20th may right everyone so this is just by chance that we have taken first option and the option got match so but yes always try to match with the easy options right where the calculation is easy for you fine everyone okay now let's move to the other question next question saying a biology class at high school predicted that a local population of animals will double in size every 12 years okay the population at the beginning of 2021 was estimated to be 50 animals all right if p represents the population after n years then which of the following equation represents the model of the class for the population see everyone the population is p right okay so after 12 years so in 2021 the population was 50 right so after 12 years so after 12 years 12 years after the population will be 15 into 2 right 100 and after again 12 years this will be 100 into 2 into 2 so this will be 100 into I mean, fifty. Sorry, fifty into two into two, right? Hundred into two. So this will be fifty into two into two. So fifty into two is square. After more twelve years, this will be fifty into two is square into two. So fifty into two cube, and so on, right? So it means for twelve years, the population is. I mean, for twenty twenty one, the population is fifty. After twelve years. the population is sorry this is 50 not 51 so after 12 years the population is 15 into 2 after 24 years the population is 15 into 2 is square after 36 years the population is 15 into 2 cube right so these are the values we are getting right so just check in which option you are getting these numbers right so in option number d clearly in option number d we are getting these numbers so 15 into 2 if we are putting n as 12 so 15 into 2 right 15 into 2 raised to the power n 2 raised per n by 12 it is 2 raised to the power 1 right if we are putting n is equal to 24 then 15 into 2 raised to the power 2 we will be getting right if you are putting n is equal to 36 i mean 36 years Then fifty into two cube, right? So obviously, D option is the correct choice. 
fine everyone right okay now let's move to the other question now the next question is in a class 60% of the students are from india and 50% of the students are girl okay so let's say there are 100 students in the class uh 60% so 60 are from india then 40 are from let's say foreign right foreigners and 50% of the students are girls okay 50 are girls if 30% of the indian students are girl 30% of indian students so 30% of 60 this is 18 so 18 are girls then how many boys 42 are boys right and overall they are saying 50% girls overall 50% girls so it means overall there are 50 girls right so 18 are already here then 50 girls it means it means 32 girls are more right 32 foreigners are girls so it means 8 are boys right so question is then what percentage of foreign students are boys so 8 we need to find 8 is what percentage of 40 so 8 by 40 into 100 right 8 is what percentage of 40 fine everyone so this is 5 so this is 20% right the correct answer is 20% 8 is what percentage of 40 so the answer is 20% right clear all right now let's move to the other one okay next question is next question uh, again belong to silox topic fine question is saying some radios are mobiles okay some radios are mobiles all mobiles are computers okay all mobiles are computers and some computers are watches okay fine after that certainly some radios are watches first statement certainly some radios are watches no it is not correct then certainly some mobiles are watches mm no it is also not correct no neither one nor two right d option is the right choice fine simple question okay now let's move to the other one after that the question is saying a pie diagram shows the percentage distribution of protein water and other dry elements in the human body given that protein correspond to 16% and water correspond to 70% okay protein water and other dry elements fine so protein they are saying 16% and water is 70% okay it means the left part is 14% right because the total composition must be 100% fine and in the pie chart we have only three ingredients like protein water and some other dry elements fine okay now what is the question if both protein and other dry elements correspond to p percent both protein and other this protein and other dry elements so this is what this is 16 plus 14 so how much it is 30 percent right 30 percent they are saying p percent okay fine then what is the central angle of the sector representing p on the pie chart okay 30% see everyone in pie chart 360 degree represents 100% right so in pie chart 100% represent 360 degree okay then 10% is what just divide by 10 both the numbers this is 36 degree and they are saying 30% right just multiply this by 3 so this by 3 this is 108% sorry 108 degree right the correct answer is 108 degree okay everyone fine the correct answer is 108 degree all right now let's move to the other question next question says joseph visits the club on every fifth day harish sorry harsh visits the club on every 24th day while sumit visits after ninth day every ninth day fine so 5 24 and 9th okay if all of them met at the club on sunday then which on which day will all of them three meet again okay again means after 
uh, obviously it will be after the else after the interval of lcm fine so lcm of 5 24 and 9 is what 360 so so they will meet again after 360 days they will meet again after 360 days right everyone so they will meet again after 360 days fine now 364 days means what 364 days means 52 complete weeks right so when we add 52 weeks so obviously the same day will come again fine so sunday plus 364 days is equal to 365th day so 356th day equal to sunday again fine so what they are asking they are asking 361st day because we need to add 360 days right so sunday plus 360 days because we need to find after 360 days right so sunday plus 360 days equal to 361st day right so which day will be on 361st day after i mean from sunday fine so 365th is sunday then 364th 363rd 362nd 361st right this is what this is saturday this is friday this is thursday this is wednesday 361st day will be wednesday right everyone the answer is wednesday right correct choice is b option see everyone uh, in this very same channel the gs score official i have uploaded one video of calendar Please go through that video to understand this question in a better manner, right? Okay, now let's move to the other one. Next question is the difference between a two digit number and the number obtained by interchanging the positions of the digit is 54. All right. Consider the following statement. The sum of the two digits of the number can be determined only if the product of two digit is given. After that, the difference between the two digits of the number can be determined. Look how the sum of the two digits of the number can be determined only if the product um, only word should not be there. But yes, this is the correct choice. But only word is not there. Only is a bit confusing. Because obviously we can find the sum of digits also if if only this information is given, right? This original information is given to us. So we can find the we can find the number right but anyways see everyone with the based i mean on the basis of this information we can find the numbers the numbers are 17 71 28 82 39 93 and 60 also we can say right so total there are seven numbers right total there are seven numbers where total there are seven numbers where the difference between the original number and the number obtained by interchanging the digits is equal to 54 right right everyone and 60 also will be considered as the answer because 60 is satisfying the condition of the question i'm not taking the reverse of 60 i'm not considering 6 but 60 will be considered as the answer because 60 and reverse of 60 will be 6 when you take the difference, the value will be coming as 54, right? That's why 60 will be considered an answer. That's why only I have considered 60, not 06. But in the case of 17, 17 will be also answer and 71 will also be the answer, right? In the case of 28, 28 is also answer and 82 will also be the answer. In the case of 39, 39 is answer and 93 also is the answer, right? So total we have seven numbers, seven such numbers, right? So with this information, we can find the numbers. The question is saying the sum of two digit number can be determined if the product of the digit is known. They must be saying if the product is known. Only if is uh, not the correct word, but if the product, if the product of two digit is known, right? Because here the product, 
the digit of the product of digit is 7 here the product of digit is 16 here the product of digit is 27 and here the product of digit is 0 right so here you can find the sum also the sum is 8 and here the sum of digit is 10 here the sum of digit is 12 here the sum of digit is 6 right so that you can find right so if the product is given you can find fine so only if is not required only uh, just if is sufficient huh after that the difference between the two digits of the number can be determined yes the difference can be determined because this is 54 54 by 9 will give you 6 right this is the sixth multiple of 9 so the difference of digits will be 6 this you can determine obviously fine see everyone this concept I have explained clearly in my number system class right so which is given in this uh, uh, very uh, playlist of uh, CSAT right so you can just go through the complete playlist at the end you will get the uh, video of number system fine so just watch that video to understand this concept in a better manner right so here both the statements are correct both 1 and 2 okay everyone fine now let's move to the other question after that next question says x set to y at the time of your birth I was twice as old as you are at present all right x set to y x and this is y at the time of your birth I was twice as old as you are at present okay so presently y is of p years and x is 3 p years see everyone here in this condition x will be the age of x will be three times the age of y right if this statement is given at the time of your birth i was twice as old as you are at present right x will be thrice the age of y okay so now the question is saying if the present age of x is 42 years okay present age of x is 42 years so it means the present age of y is 14 years right so from this information we can say if the present age of x is 42 years then obviously the present age of y is 14 years first statement eight years ago the age of x was five times the age of y eight years ago eight years ago means this is six years and this is 34 years right no not correct this has to be 30 to become the five times right so this is not correct then after 14 years the age of x would be two times the age of y after 14 years so this is 56 and this is 28 they are saying after 14 years the age of x would be two times the age of y yeah this is correct right second option is the right choice so which of the statements are correct only two right second only okay everyone fine correct all right so now now next question next question is saying if the price of an article is decreased by 20 percent and then the new price is increased by 25 percent then what is the net change in the price obviously zero percent the price of the article is let's say 100 it is decreased by 20 percent so 20 percent decrement it becomes 80 right and then it is increased by 25 percent so 80 will be increased by 25 percent so 25 percent of 80 is what 25 percent of 80 is 20 right so 80 plus 20 so this becomes 100 right so obviously uh, the net change is 0 percent fine so if a quantity is decreased by 20 percent and then it is increased by 25 percent the net change is 0 percent fine everyone now let's move to the other question next question is when a certain number is multiplied by 7 the product entirely comprises once only what is the smallest such number see everyone here here you have to check the options and one more thing one important thing all the options have 3 as unit digit obviously they will be 3 because all the ones are there then 7 into 3 is 21 and then 3 into 7 is 21 right 
So obviously one you will write here and two will going to carry, right? Two will going to carry, fine. So if two is going to carry, then obviously to become one, so two should be added with nine, right? So here, here, three into seven is one, then two will be going to carry. So seven into seven is 49, 49 plus two is one again, right? Got it everyone? So that's why I'm saying nine will be added to two, fine, so become one. So nine is what? Nine is coming when you will multiply seven with seven. Fine. So only one option is there where you have tens digit as seven. And so only D option is the D option is probable answer. So D will be the correct choice. You can check one, five, eight, seven, three. You can multiply this with seven. You will get all ones, right? You can check it. This will be the correct choice. Okay, everyone. Fine. All right. Now let's move to the other question. Next question is, a man completes seven by eight of a job in 21 days. So seven by eight in 21 days, it means this is three, right? So complete job, complete job in eight into three, 24 days, right? Okay, how many more days he will take it will take him to finish the job if the quantum of job is further increased by 50%. All right. So 24, so half of 24, so 50% of 24 will be 12, right? So 24 plus 12 total, he will be doing the job in 36 days, right? 24 plus 12 total he will be finishing the job in 36 days and he has done already 21 days right so 36 minus 21 he will be finishing the job in 15 days right everyone 15 days is the correct choice d option is the right choice okay fine all right now let's move to the other question after that next question says there are three points pqr on a straight line such that PQ is to QR is 3 is to 5. Okay, so there are two possibilities. PQ is to QR. PQR. So this is 3 is to 5, right? And second possibility is P, Q, and R. So this is 3 is to 5, right? So see, PQ is to QR, sorry. PQ is to QR is 3 is to 5. And here, PQ is to QR is 3 is to 5, right? There are two cases. In first case also, in second case also, right? Okay, after that, the question is saying, if n is the number of possible values of PQ by PR, then what is the value of, then what is n equal to, n equal to 2, right? There are two cases, right everyone? See, they are saying PQ by QR, PQ by PR, right? So in this case, PQ by PR, so PQ, this is 3 and PR is 8. In this case, PQ by PR is 3 by 8. Right, and in this case, PQ by PR, PQ, PQ is 3 and PR is 2, right? So, in both the case, like, we have two values of PQ and PR, two different values, right? The correct answer is B. Okay, fine. All right, now let's move to the next question. Question is saying, in a chessboard, how many different ways can six consecutive square be chosen on the diagonal along a straight line, a straight path, sorry. See everyone, chessboard is what? Chessboard is a square shaped eight by eight order grid, right? It is a square shaped eight by eight order grid. So obviously we have two diagonals. This is one diagonal and this is another diagonal, right? We have two diagonals, okay? Right, everyone, we have two diagonals. So diagonal looks like this. In chessboard, diagonal looks like this. Okay. 
how many are they one two three four five six seven so one more this is let's say eight right so one diagonal looks like this and another diagonal will be looks like this it is like this fine okay one diagonal is here so another will be here fine okay after that they are saying how many different ways six consecutive square can be chosen six consecutive square right so if we start from one then from one to six six consecutive we can choose like this right now if we start from two then six consecutive till seven right now if we start from three then we can choose till here right so three from one side three from one side i mean one diagonal three from one diagonal or you can say along one diagonal right okay three along one diagonal and three along another diagonal right so total six okay six consecutive squares we can choose okay everyone fine clear all right this is a simple question provided you should be having a good knowledge of uh, like chessboard right all right now let's move to the other one next question is in the series fill in the six blanks using one of the following given four choices such that the series follow a specific order see everyone in this question if you check out the options you will find the fourth option will be the right choice see here a b then a b and then a b fine and here in the slot of 3 it is a b b then a a b then a b b then a a b then a b b then a b right so a b b a a b a b b a a b right a b b and a a b it is like this fine okay everyone fine so with the choice i mean fourth choice you are getting this fixed pattern this is the specific order they are talking about right okay now let's move to the other question so in this question there is no rocket science you have to you know put all the option and you have to check all the options fine there is no rocket science in this type of questions okay you have to check all the options in and in one option the series will get satisfied then that will be the correct choice fine now let's move to the other question next question is saying using double two triple three as digits how many distinct numbers greater than 30000 can be formed okay this is a good question see everyone number you have to form which is greater than 30000 it means this number should be started with 3 right so 3 will be fixed after that you have 2 times 2 and 2 times 3 right because 3 you have to fix here right because this number should be greater than 30000 it means it has to be started with 3 right so 3 has to be fixed in the beginning as the first digit after that you have four more digits to uh, i mean to set fine so here like we have 2 times 2 and 2 times 3 so actually uh like this is factorial 4 four distinct i mean four digits factorial 4 divided by factorial 2 because there are two repetitions so factorial 2 into factorial 2 fine so this is 24 24 by 2 into 2 So twenty-four by four, which is six, right? So six numbers can be formed, right? If you want me to write the six numbers, I can also write those six numbers. So three, two, two, three, three. So three, two, three, two, three, three, two, three, three, two, right? And then three, three, two, two, three, then three, three. Two, three, two, then three, 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 two, two. Right. So these are the six numbers which can be formed. Okay, that's it. Right. 
So this number will be started with three, and after that you can, you know, we we can just adjust the given two times three and two times two. Fine. Okay. Right. So if you know the formula, you can use the formula. If you don't know the formula, you can do manually also. No problem. Fine. Now let's move to the other question. Next question is consider the following statements. The sum of five consecutive integers can be hundred. Yes, it can be hundred. So this is twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, then nineteen, and then eighteen. Just add them. You will get sum as hundred. Okay, the sum of five consecutive integers can be hundred. Yes, it can be hundred. So first statement is correct. The product of three consecutive natural numbers can be equal to their sum. Yes, it it is also equal. So one, two, three, three natural numbers is equal to one plus two plus three, right? So both are six, right? So six is equal to one into two into three equal to one plus two plus three, right? Okay. So which of the above statements is are correct? Both are correct, right? Clear? Okay. This is the simple property of numbers, right? Okay, fine. Now let's move to the other one. Next question is saying a cubical vessel of size one centimeter is filled completely with water. How many milliliters of water is contained in it? Neglect the thickness of vessel. See, water one one millimeter one meter cube. So one meter cube is equal to what? Ten raised to the power six milliliter. Right, that's it. So the answer is ten raised to the power six. So volume of water will be one meter cube, and this is equal to ten raised to the power six milliliter. Right. So this is ten raised to the power six. Okay, fine. So this is the correct choice. Right. D option is the right choice. All right. Now let's move to the next question. Next question is saying there are six persons arranged in a row. another person has to shake hand with three of them so that he should not shake hand with two consecutive persons in how many distinct possible combinations can the handshake take place see everyone there are three persons there are six persons are standing in a row let's say a b c d e f fine let's say their positions are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right after that they are saying another person so another person means see a seventh person right seventh person or you can say another person mean let's say another person is let's say p p is the person right so p is coming he wants to shake hand but with alternate number of persons i mean the person is standing in alternate numbers not in alternate numbers but he doesn't want to uh, shake hand with two consecutive uh, persons right that's it i repeat another person seventh seventh person is coming who is another person and he wants to shake hand with them any any three of them with the condition that they should not be consecutive persons right so first combination is what 1 3 right the second combination will be 1 4 right and the third combination will be One three six also there, one three six also can be happen, right? And fourth combination will be two four six, right? Yes. So here uh, no two consecutive persons are there, right? Okay. So four combinations are possible, right? Four combinations are possible. Okay, everyone. four combinations are possible right okay now let's move to the other question next question is saying an amount of money was distributed among a b c in the ratio p is to q is to r consider the following statements a gets the maximum share if p is greater than q plus r see everyone p is to q is to r and they are saying p is greater than q plus r this implies p is greater than q and p is greater than or r also right so it means a b c fine p is greater than q 
P is greater than R, R also. So it means P is getting, I mean P is greater than both Q and R individually. So A is getting the maximum share. Yeah, it is very correct. After that, they are saying C gets the max minimum share if R is less than P plus Q. Okay, so A, B, C. This is P, Q, R. They are saying if R is less than P plus Q. Uh, no, we cannot say. For example, let's say it is 3, 4, 5. Right? So here R is less than P plus Q. Yeah, it is satisfying. But here C is getting the maximum. Right? Question is saying C gets the minimum if R is less than P plus Q. So here R is less than P plus Q, but C is getting maximum. Right? So this condition is not correct. So one only. Which of the following is correct? One only. Right, everyone? One only is correct. Okay. Now let's move to the other question. Next question is saying, Jay Vijay spent an amount of equal money to, to buy, it's not but, to buy some pens and pencils of the same quality from the same store. If Jay spent three pens, if Jay bought three pens plus five pencils, and Vijay bought two pens and seven pencils. So two pens and seven pencils. Right. So they have spent equal amount. So it means first statement is equal to the second statement. Right. So pen, just simplifying them, we will be getting pen equal to two pencil. Right. So price of one pen is equal to price of two pencils. C option, the price of a pen is two times the price of pencils. Yeah, C option is the correct choice. Okay, now let's move to the other one. After that, they are saying P scored 40 marks more than Q. P scored 40 marks more than Q. Q is scored 10% less marks. So 10% is equal to 40, then 100% is equal to 400. Right, it means this is the situation, right? Right. Question is saying Q is scoring 10% less than Q. Sorry, Q is scoring 10% less than P. Right. Q is scoring 10% less than P. Right. This is the situation. So how much did Q score? Q scored 360 marks. Okay. This is the situation. Right, everyone. Fine. Okay. Now let's move to the other one. Next question is saying, a person P asks one of his three friends X as to how much money did he had? Okay. A person P asks one of his three friends X as to how much money did he had? X replied, if Y gives me 40, then Y will have half as much as Z. But, but if Z gives me 40, then three of us will have equal amount. Okay. So first condition is, if Y gives me 40. So X is saying, if Y gives me 40, it means Y will become Y minus 40. This will become Z by 2. So Y minus 40 is equal to Z by 2, right? So this implies what? 2Y minus 80 is equal to Z, or you can say 2Y minus Z is equal to 80, right? This is equation number one. So from first condition, you are getting 2y minus z is equal to 80. Now from second condition, second condition says, but if z gives me 40, then three of us will have an equal amount. Okay. Uh, see, x, y, and z. z gives me 40. So z minus 40 is equal to x plus 40, right? Okay. They all, they all are equal. X plus 40 equal to Y equal to Z minus 40. So I'm taking these two, right? Because first equation I have in terms of Y and Z. So I'm taking these two. So this will be what? Y minus Z is equal to minus 40, right? So Y minus Z is equal to minus 40. Equation number two. Solving these two equations. Solving these two, right? So minus plus, minus plus, right? So this is cancelled. 
so this is y is equal to 120 right y is equal to 120 so just substitute y over here so 120 minus z is equal to minus 40 so z is equal to 160 right okay so y is equal to 120 z is equal to 160 and y is equal to x plus 40 right this is saying x plus 40 is equal to y so x plus 40 is equal to 120 then x is equal to 120 minus 40 which is 80 right okay so x is share of x is 80 share of y is 120 and z is 160 right what is the total amount of money total amount of money we just had to add all of them right so this is 80 and 120 is 200 200 160 is 360 just add all of them right so this is 360 the correct answer is 360 rupees in total they have okay fine all right now let's move to the other question next question is saying in a certain code language mathematics is written as l b x i l b s i d n z u n z u h d r okay so mathematics l b s i d n z u h d r c l m this is minus m this is sorry minus one this is plus one this is minus one this is plus one this is minus one this is plus one right so this is alternate minus one plus one or minus one plus one minus one plus one right so chemistry they are asking actually right chemistry they are asking okay so alternate minus one plus one minus one plus one right so b h i e h i i'm sorry this will be i e so this is minus one this is plus one this is minus one so e means d then plus one m n so B I D N right so this is not correct this is also not correct B I D N so this is B I D L this is not correct B I D N yeah this is B option is the correct choice right okay everyone just for first with first four uh, letters you can find the answer right okay now let's move to the other question all right after that at which one of the following times do the hour hand and the minute hand of a clock make an angle 180 degree with each other see everyone if you have studied the topic of clock uh, uh, like in detail then you must be knowing at 7 5 27 right so 5 minutes I mean 5 minutes and 27 past 7 they are at the angle of 180 degree right they are at the angle of 180 degree fine 5 minutes and 27 past 7 pm they make the angle of 180 degree right so this is between 7 5 to 7 10 right okay the correct answer is d okay everyone right all right now let's move to the other question in fact by observation also you can see but yes with the observation this actually this is very less time like 27 second is very less time so that's why it is it is really difficult to decide with the help of observation so this the you know the command over this topic is needed to solve this question actually okay now let's move to the other one after that question is saying in an objective test 90 questions in an objective objective test of 90 questions five marks are allotted for every correct answer and two marks are deducted for every wrong answer after attempting all the 90 questions a student got 387 marks what is the number of incorrect responses okay see everyone wrong answer 
loss of loss of a wrong answer actually total loss is minus 5 minus 2 is minus 7 right because obviously when you are solving a question wrong then you must be expecting 5 marks for that question so you are losing 5 marks for that question and you are to losing 2 marks for one correct answer also right so actually once you do one wrong answer you are actually total losing 7 marks right so in this exam total 90 questions are there if all 90 are correct then your final score will be 450 marks your maximum marks will be 450 you can say and what is the marks you are scoring you are scoring 387 so 387 is 63 less than the maximum marks right so this is due to negative marking right this is due to negative marking fine so 63 by 7 so 9 wrong answers right everyone nine wrong answers that's it right okay total nine wrong answer correct all right now let's move to the other question next question is saying 3p 4p pp pp just add all of them right so this is this is giving you r q and 2 see everyone 1 p 2 p 3 p 4 p right so 4 p is giving you 2 as unit digit it means what 4 into 3 is 12 4 into 8 is 32 right so p can be p can have two value either 3 or 8 right okay fine all right so if p has i mean if if p is equal to 3 if p is equal to 8 fine so 33 43 33 33 just add all of them so this will become what 142 right this will become i mean 2 and this is 9 142 yeah correct if p is 8 then 38 then 48 then 88 and then 88 right okay so so this will what this will become 8 8 8 8 32 2 and 3 so 3 means 3 3 6 6 4 10 10 and 16 262 right so rq2 so rq2 the question is saying where p q r are different digits what is the arithmetic mean of all such possible sums okay so rq2 can be rq2 p q r we need to find out different right so p p is 3 r is 6 r is 4 and r is 1 q is 4 here r is 2 p is this and okay fine so fine so this is 142 and 262 just add all of them this is what 404 we need to find the arithmetic mean right so 404 by 2 so this is 202 okay so arithmetic mean of all possible sum so this will be 202 correct right everyone okay fine good okay all right it's a good question okay now let's move to the other one next question is saying p q into 3 is equal to r q q right see everyone p q into 3 is equal to r q q right so 1 into 3 will give you 3 as unit right and 2 into 3 will give you 6 as unit 3 into 3 will give you 9 as unit 4 into 3 will give you 2 as unit and 5 into 3 will give you 5 as unit right so see this is q into 3 will give you q as unit right so q into 3 will give you q as unit right clear after that it is q q right so 5 5 
this is RQQ, right? So RQQ means 5, 5. And now, see, this number should be a multiple of 3. So 5, 5, 10. I'm, I'm finding the sum of digits. So 5, 5, 10. So 10, 2, 12. So this is 255, right? So 255 divided by 3 is what? 85. Okay. So 85 into 3 is equal to 255. This is the situation. So this is PQ. This is R, Q, Q, right? The question is asking P plus R. So P is what? P is 8 plus R. R is 2 divided by Q. Q is what? 5. So this is 10 by 5. This is 2. 2 is the answer, right? The correct answer is 2. All right. Okay, everyone. Fine. Simple. All right. Now let's move to the other question. Okay, next question is, next question says, consider the following table. Who is the fastest run scorer in the test match? Okay, see everyone, the fastest run scorer in the test match, right? So you just have to find the fastest strike rate of the batsman, right? So the run is scored in the first inning 61, second inning six, uh, 14, so total is scoring total he is scoring 75 in how many balls 99 and 76 so this is 175 balls right and he is scoring 5 50 55 and in 97 balls so 55 in 97 balls total he is scoring 15 and 20 35 runs 15 and 20 35 runs in how many balls 125 balls and he is scoring 13 and 12 25 runs in how many deliveries? In 105 balls. Right? So, see everyone, we just need to find which fraction is the greatest. So here, this will be less than 0.5. This will be less than 1 by 2. Uh, right? This will be less than 1 by 2. Fine. This will be greater than 1 by 2. This will be less than 1 by 2. This will be also less than 1 by 2. So this is the greatest fraction. Right, everyone? So B is, uh, B is the fastest run scorer. Okay? All right. Okay. Right. Now let's move to the other question. Next question says, half of the villagers of a certain village have their own houses. Half means what? 50%. 50% of the villagers have their own house. Right? After that, one-fifth. One-fifth of the villagers. One-fifth means 20%. Right? So, 20% cultivate paddy. Alright. So, 20% cultivate paddy. One-third. After that, one-third. One-third means 33.33% are literate. Okay, fine. After that, four fifth. Four fifth means eighty percent. So eighty percent are below twenty-five years of age, right? Which of the following statement is certainly correct? Certainly means definitely correct, right? It has to be correct. Okay. So all the villagers who have their own houses are literate. All the villagers. So fifty percent have their own houses, and literate is thirty-three point three three percent. So this can't be certainly true. Okay. After that, they are saying some villagers under 25 years of age are literate. See everyone. See, this is let's say 100%. Fine. So, so 80% is this, right? So, 80% are below 25 years of age, right? And 33.33 are literate. So, 33.33% are literate. Right. So, this is literate. Fine. So obviously some. So some villagers, it means like this, this portion. Fine. So they are saying some villagers under 25 years of age are literate. Yeah, this is correct choice. All right, everyone. Fine. So this is correct choice. Okay, fine. Now let's move to the other question. After that, they are saying, uh, next question is consider two statements of and a question 
statement number one wait just read the question what day is the 14th 14th of the given month what day is the 14th of the given month all right first statement the last day of the month is wednesday mm, so from first statement alone we cannot say anything okay now the second statement third sunday of the month was on 17th okay so 17th was the third sunday so 17th 16th 15th 14th they are asking what day is 14th of the given month okay so this is saturday this is friday this is thursday this is wednesday right so the answer is wednesday on 14th there is wednesday so second statement alone is sufficient to answer the question right statement number two alone is sufficient to answer the question right on second wednesday is there sorry on 14th wednesday is there second statement alone is sufficient to answer the question right okay now let's move to the other one which day is 10th october 2027 see everyone 2021 and 2021 uh, sorry 21 and 27 have the same calendar i repeat 21 and 27 have the same calendar how come I'm showing you. In 21, we have one odd day. In 22, we have one odd day. Here, in 23, we have one odd day. In 24, 24 is the leap year. So we have two odd days, one odd day and one odd day, right? So if we add the number of odd days, this is three, three plus two, five, five plus two, seven, right? So these are seven odd days, right? So it means after 2026, 2027 will be coming. So calendar of 2027 will be same as calendar of 2021, right? So today is 10th October 2021, right? So 10th October 2021 is Sunday, right? So 10th October 2027 is also Sunday, right? So, so 21 and 27 have the same calendar. So you can do this question like this. Or if you don't want to solve this question like this, then you can solve this question like this, like another approach also. So 2000 plus 26 plus 27, right? So this is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September and October, right? See everyone, uh, in this channel, YouTube official, I mean GSS Core official, uh, in our channel, I have put, I have, I mean, I have uploaded one calendar of, one topic of calendar, right? So calendar video is there in this YouTube channel. So you can watch that topic. So you will get how to solve these type of questions in more effective manner, right? So in this 26, there are six leap years and 20 ordinary years so 6 leap years means 12 odd days and this is 20 odd days this is 3 3 sorry 0 3 2 3 2 3 3 2 and this is 10, right? So 10 divided by 7 will give you 3, right? So just add all of them. See everyone. So when you add all of them, so 3, 3, 6, 6, 2, 8, 8, 5, 13, 13, 6, 19, 19, 5, 24, 24 and 32, right? So this is 56. 56 divided by 7 will give you 0 odd days, right? 0 odd day means Sunday, right? I have explained this concept in my video of calendar. You may watch this topic from this YouTube channel, right? It is uploaded, okay? So everyone, the answer for this question is Sunday. A option is the correct choice, right? Now let's move to the another question. 
Next question is saying, consider the two statements and four conclusion given below. Achha, fine. Some green are blues. Okay, some greens are blues. Some blues are blacks. Okay, fine. First statement and second statement, right? Now, conclusion. Some greens are blacks. No. No green is black. No green is black. Wait. All green are black. All green are black. No. All blacks are green. No. Okay. Which of the following is correct? 1 and 2 only. No, it is not correct. 2 and 3 only. No, it is not correct. 3 and 4 only. No, it is not correct. Neither 1, 2. Yeah, it is correct. Right. D option is the correct choice. Fine, everyone. Why I have not selected this? Because in our this diagram, it is satisfying, but yes, in general, it is not true, right? So, neither conclusion 1, nor 2, nor 3, nor 4, right? So, in general, this is not true. Okay, everyone, fine. Now, let's move to the other question. Now, next question is, next question says, what is the value of x in the sequence? 2, 7, 22. 67, 202, x, 1, 8, double 2, right? See everyone, this is what? Into 3 plus 1. 2 into 3, 6. 6 plus 1, 7. Then into 3 plus 1. 7 into 3, 21. 21 plus 1, 22. Into 3 plus 1. Into 3 plus 1. Then into 3 plus 1, right? So 202 into 3 plus 1, right? So 606 plus 1 which is 607, right? So, the correct answer is 607. All right, everyone. So, this is the correct answer, fine. See, everyone, here, I guess uh, this paper is over now. Yeah. So, friends, thank you so very much. Thanks for watching this video. Here, we have solved set B, right? Set B, we have solved. So, everyone, uh, you can arrange set B. Uh, set B is available everywhere in... Uh, in telegram or you can find it in several groups right so uh, before watching this video i mean uh, once when you are watching this video try to you know try to watch this with question paper set b right so that you will get the questions and you will be able to relate these questions clearly right okay everyone fine so thank you so very much thanks for watching everyone and yes again i'm saying this question was really tough so please, please friends, now don't ignore CSAT now. Please try to solve CSAT. And yes, I have one Telegram channel also. So you may join that Telegram channel. So this is the link of that Telegram channel. CSAT prepare, right? So you may join that Telegram channel. Fine. So now, thank you everyone. Thank you so much. Thanks for watching. Thank you.